So today's video is going to be a what's in my travel makeup bag. I recently went on a trip to Virginia and Washington DC and it was kind of just like a weekend trip and this is what I brought with me and I tend to overpack on makeup. I brought a lot of makeup but I didn't really use all of what's in here. I don't know I just think like it's better to have more things and not use it and have less things and not having enough of it and yeah if you guys want to see what's in my travel makeup bag then keep on watching and i'm just going to be pulling stuff out out of random and yeah let's get started so the first thing i have is the etude house precious mineral bb cream and i didn't really use this i just thought this would be like a lightweight and nice foundation to wear and then I brought my Maybelline Fit Me powder and it's just the regular one and yeah I did actually use this and then I just brought my Naked 2 Basics palette this is really really good for travel because because it has these pretty matte shades and you can just use this for every day and it's really nice and yeah, and you can actually, if you have like dark hair like me, you can actually use the darkest color in this palette for um, an eyebrow powder. And then next I have the Revlon Age Defying Foundation. Yeah, I used this one also. It's just, it's it gives you medium coverage, but it also feels lightweight. And then I just have my e.l.f. face primer. And for bronzer, I just have this one wild. Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil and this is just a really really big bronzer and it's really pretty it has shimmers in it but when you put it on your face like it doesn't really show up I was a little like scared to try this when I first got it but it's really pretty I'm actually wearing it right now I don't know if you can see it but it just looks like this and yeah. Next, I have the Face Shop Frisian Voluming Mascara in Curling, and I just really, really love this mascara. You don't have to curl your lashes with this because, like, it curls it for you, and it's a really, really lightweight feeling on your eyelashes, and it's actually, it's kind of like sticky at first when you first apply it, but once it dries, it's a really, really good and lightweight feeling to your eyelashes. And yeah, I really, really love this. It lengthens and curls your eyelashes really well. And next, I have the CoverGirl Fresh Complexion uh, Concealer in Soft Honey. And I don't really use this to conceal because it doesn't really conceal like well. I mean this actually sucks because it doesn't cover but I just use it to conceal around my eyebrows and shape it and yeah I really like it for that and then I have the L'Oreal True Match Stick Concealer in W4-5 and yeah I just use this for spot concealing and stuff and then the one and only blush that I brought was this Face Shop um, Lovely Me X Pastel Cushion Blusher in Rose Cushion and what's nice about it is it already has a puff and this puff is actually pretty good so I didn't need to use or bring an extra brush. And then I have two hair styling tools. I just, oh it has hair on it, I don't know if you guys can see it but this is a Conair travel brush I guess. And it's kind of wooden and it's just a brush and it also has a mirror inside. Not inside, but on the back. And then I have this Goody Wide Tooth Comb. It's just purple with a giraffe, I think. I think this is giraffe pattern. And then I have this, another mascara. It's pretty dirty, but it's just the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara and yeah just looks like this and what I love about this is it's really really lightweight and it doesn't feel like you have mascara on your eyelashes and I actually used this um, on the day I traveled to Virginia and like when I was sleeping in the car I didn't really 
notice or feel that I had mascara on. So yeah, this is pretty good. It lengthens really well. And then I have just a Carmex for my lips. I also have a Benefit... Oh, what is this called? I think this is like the Hydra Smooth Lip Stick thing. I don't know, it doesn't say in the back, but... This is in the color Juicy Details. This is really moisturizing and it, it just feels like a lip balm. I'm actually wearing it right now. And so you just twist it up to get the product out. And then I have my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. And I just use this on my waterline. I always, always, always have to have my waterline line because, I don't know, I, my eyes kind of... Well, not kind of, but they are small, and putting black eyeliner on my waterline just makes my eyes look bigger. I have this um, mini Coastal Scents Reveal 2 sample, and I just got this when I ordered some brushes off of there, and they just gave me this. And I really, really like this palette, and it's really, really pigmented. I've been using this for a while now and there's so much in this little thing that I could use this for travel like all the time. It has like a highlight shade, a lid, and a crease, and like a darker outer V color. And then I have my Maybelline color tattoo in Barely Branded and it's really really dirty but yeah, I just use this as an eye primer because it's really it's really easy to put on. I have this Makeup Forever Aqua Brow in number 40. And this is just um, a brow gel. It's a really good product, but it could be really tricky to use. At first, like I didn't really I didn't really use this because when I first tried it, like it was really hard to work with, but after like I gave it a few chances. Um, I've been really, really loving this and I've been using this every time like I go out. You get a lot, a lot of product in this. You just have to use a little bit and a little bit goes a long, long way. Like one little dot can like fill both of your eyebrows in. And the last product I have is this Almay Smart Shade. CC Concealer and Brightener, and I really, really like this duo, I guess. Well, I haven't really used the brightener, but I've used the concealer, and it's good for spot concealing. And that is all that's in my makeup bag. Yeah, I forgot to mention, my makeup bag is from Estee Lauder, and it's just like... I don't know what to call this. But it's just like navy is green and it also has light blue here and this is like the zipper thingy and it just says Estee Lauder here. And yeah, that is all that's in my travel makeup bag. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!